Hi there again. It's Tim with Far North Magic. Uh, continuing on with uh, another Ravnica Legion. Yeah. Some more to do. And hopefully we get some good cards. Um, out of it. We just have to see where we get, how far we get. So we got Awaken the Erstwhile as the first rare. I don't think that's a card I've ever used. So yeah, this is what it is. Oh, and we're starting off the Shocklands, at least this time, with a uh, Blood Crypt. It's a good first one to start with. Since the last one was not great for Shocks. And we got Bedevil. Bedevil is a good rare. That slightly better level of rare, which is the Devil, Lecture Dominance, the Priest. So, should really write stuff down. Oh, and we got First Mythic being a Hydro Crisis. It's a really good one. It's the best Mythic. Kind of actually surprised it's held on. So, I kind of figured it would have just got reprinted somewhere by now. Uh, Verity Circle. I just suspect that all things will get reprinted, like, multiple times to dust, and then they can just get reprinted into a commander deck every year. Seems to be weird how they... Uh, Decide what gets reprinted. Like all the Return to Ravnica stuff. Just got. Printed into the ground. I was suspecting they'd do the same for like. Even this. Uh, like third time to Ravnica. We got Gutter Bones. With his. Friend Gutter Bones. Jeez. First foil. Being a foil Gutter Bones. Being the shadow of the non-foil gutter bones, I guess. And we got... Holy cow. We got... We're back on track. We got a breeding pool. It's a good one to open for sure. Grotesque Demise. Hmm. As the second foil. No, we haven't opened this one before on camera. Seraph of the Scales. Oh, and we gotta absorb. I'm kind of surprised they didn't put Undermine in the uh, Guilds of Ravnica. We got Judith the Scourge Diva and Stony Strength. The heck? Hmm. That one seems almost better than the, the two mana pump. Oh well, that's what it is. We've got Andre's Forerunners.
Like Endraze is kind of a, it got put in, I think, commander deck. I just killed it, kind of. But, kind of one of those things where, like, I think long term, some, if they don't reprint it a hundred times more, it might creep up to a couple bucks. Tomb of the Guild Pack. So uh, being basic, just that slight above bulk. I guess there are a lot of cards that are like just slight above bulk that are like highly usable. I guess we got Dovin Grand Arbiter as the next mythic. Got a lot of mythics. Seems crazy to me. Although, like, for the most part, they're not anything crazy. Nikia of the Old Ways. As the next rare. Impassioned Orator. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the cards could be. Some of the card names. This could be much better cards. Not just. Two mana, two two with slight ability. If it's like a soul sister, we got Sphinx of Foresight as the next rare. Glass of the Gill Pact as the next rare. Two, three. We got Priest of Forgotten Gods. So. Then we got. Oh, we got a Smothering Tithe. That's good. Part of the reason why I'm opening a bunch of these. Let's get some smothering ties. Benthic Biomancer. That's the next rare. We got Unbreakable Formation as the next rare. I think this would have done not terrible, except it's been like two commanders already. It's not anything too crazy in effect, but it was creeping up a little bit, like in that dollar two dollar range, and it was going to be like. 40 cents, like 30, 40 cents. Rick's Mahdi Reveler. It's going to be one of those, like, it's a sort of usable card, but not worth anything. Kind of what they did with, like, some of those mythics. You have, like, Sun Titan reprinted every time. The Fear of Horrors. And then it just becomes worth nothing, almost, so they can just keep reprinting it, because it's not hurting anyone. Simic Ascendancy. Not that they really care. Like, they could easily just put a smother and tithe in, and that really wouldn't be the end of the world, either. Growth Chamber Guardian. So it would probably just super charge, super charge that one to sell too fast, and then you're stuck with a whole bunch of decks that don't do anything. I find that happens anyways. So just have to like that mirror match. So going to the final stack, but we really need to hit couple more uh, Bedeck and Bedazzle 
10 Street Dodger. So we only have two shocks. They are the better shocks, at least. We got three Mythics. So we're hoping for one more shock and one more Mythic in this last batch of packs. Two, three. Oh, we got the Mythic. Sargon. Sarkan. Sar. Gone. Sarkan. Hellkite. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just terrible at this. Ah! We got the fourth Mythic. It's like, I think the worst Mythic. We're tied with the Worm. To be the worst Mythic. Oh, and we got a third Shock. It's coming up. To even up the odds. And uh, I don't know what else. Maybe looking for um, Thrash and Threat. I'm sure we're not looking for. Looking for Guardian Project. Or maybe a foil that's like uh, even a nice. I don't know, something foil. Got Cinder Vines as the next rare. We did hit the a foil rare already with the Gutter Bones, but maybe we could hit, I don't know, something. We got something here, another foil. It's common though. So it's got Rampage of the Clans and a final payment as the foil. Got what, five more. Five more to go. We got Revel and Revenge. The Ords off split. Oh, we got another mythic. Got a bit above average. This is like four and a half average. Emergency powers. I actually think this might be like the worst one money wise. There's like a whole band of them that are like dollars. It's pretty sad. Some of these mythics that don't hold any value after. Oh, and we hit a guardian project at least also. With the two non foil sh chase rares, got two packs to go. Maybe we can get something mass manipulation. I think that this would be worth something if it wasn't in a challenger deck. But I just make so many be available. Like, oh, and we got. Spawn of Mayhem. That was a decent... At least on the surface, you think it's decent. 4 mana, 4-4. Four, four, spectacle. For 3. Flying Trample. And Biogenic Upgrade. As the last foil. So we got... 2, 4, 6... 7 foils. Including a Gutter Bones. As the rare... Did really good on the mythics. Got six, six mythics, including a Hydroid Crisis. Is the best one. We got three Shocklands, two of the best ones, and then a Smothering Tithe, and also the Guardian Project. So this again was a really really good box, considering like uh, definitely above average. Probably just making up for like the last box that was kind of bad, but just is what it is. I think I have a few more to open, and uh, I hope to see you then. If you could uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, that would be awesome and appreciated. And uh, try and have a good rest of your day, and take care. Have a good one.